I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Uh, <laughs> now, about that. seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Uh, they fell and hit their heads. Uh, the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. <laughs> I'm so going with that. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Second time this month. <laughs> oh, that's so good. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel. This one is actually pretty cool because it's a game that I've been anticipating for quite some time, ever since pretty much it got announced, and that is The Outer Worlds. As a big fan of Fallout and stuff like that, maybe not so much or as much with Fallout 76, but... As a big fan of Fallout in general, and even more Fallout New Vegas, which is arguably one of the better or the best uh, Fallout games ever made, the creators of that game ended up making The Outer Worlds, which is why I'm pretty much excited to play this. So I'm just going to stop yapping and just get into it because I'm pretty, pretty excited. So with that being said, let's get into it. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right, so it looks like we are in our traits menu. Interesting thing, before I actually get into all of this, I want to do a quick announcement, and that is that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this game, similar to what I did with Rage 2. One week after this video publishes on the channel, one week after that, I'm going to be posting a code, or since this is actually Epic Game Store, I'm not entirely sure how uh, I can give away the game for free. So what you're... What, for me to give you the game, I'm going to ask you guys to leave a comment down below. And if you are the lucky winner of this game, I'm going to contact you and give you the game for free. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this attributes point system. Looks like I have six. Um, and it can go into either strength, or uh, uh, strength, dexterity. I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. Strength. Dexterity, intelligence, perception, charm, or temperament. So I'm assuming this is like Fallout's charisma system. Uh, okay, so this is your personality. Uh, your mind, um, hmm, let's see. Intelligence effects, critical hit bonus damage also. That could be useful. So charm effects, faction reputation. And companion ability cooldowns. I definitely want companions, so this is definitely something I want to do. 
Oh, dude, that's our. You know if what? If I had this one's charisma, people might actually talk to me. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna max out charisma. So temperament improves your natural health regeneration. Oh crap, that's actually. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage. Okay. Critical hit bonus. That's actually really good. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. That can be really good. Uh, affects melee weapon damage. I think I'm going to go with dexterity. One point. Uh, critical hit chance. I don't want to do head... Uh, an amount you can carry. So I'm going to go... I'm going to... This is going to be my character. I don't know how well of a character this is going to be, but let's go ahead and try it out. So it looks like we have skills. Okay, yeah. This is taking me back to Fallout. Like the old school Fallouts, man. Like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Um, So I can put a point into melee, ranged, defense. Defense. So I got two points available. Crap. Okay. So I want. I think I want ranged and. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Leadership. Oh man. Okay. I definitely want leadership. Like barking orders. Good. We're used to being bossed around. Ranged and leadership. Although I do kind of want. You know what? That that's what I'm getting. What is this? Aptitude. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what I'm good at. Scientist, safety, medical technician, janitor, food, farmer, factory, elevator. <laughs> uh, so, man, there's no military. I would love to be a military dude. Construction, bureaucrat. I don't want to be no bureaucrat. Let me see. What happens if I put no discernible aptitude? Uh, so colonists around did like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanities reach by. Okay, whatever. Uh, so it's plus one determination. Okay, so it actually gives me the aptitude bonus on the bottom right. Corrosion. Oh, so this. Inspiration plus one. I basically want to rely a lot on my on my people, so I think I'm going to go with toss. What is this again? Determination. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means in the game. So I think I'm going to go with inspiration. I think this is going to affect no my my companions. Mascot suit. <laughs> that is, okay, let's go. So of course I'm going to be a male. Fa that actually that actually doesn't look too bad actually. I, I do want to. Okay, there's 15 heads. I kind of like that one. Let me see. All right, I'm going to go with the first head. I like the first head. Actually, no, I want to go with that one other head. Or this one? Yeah, we'll go with that one right here. Skin tone. I'm definitely brown skinned, so I'm going to go with a brown head. Eye color, definitely not blue. I want to do I don't want to do anything outlandish. I know you can do like outlandish stuff, but I don't want anything really too outlandish. Where's hair color? I don't want to be too on like too detailed I just wanted to be bare bones minimum to something I look like but obviously not exactly because I that will take forever yeah yeah that'll pass we'll just we'll do that okay black where's black Man, the options is insane.
You know what? Let's do something outlandish. I wish there was blue. Blue's my favorite color, so. I don't see a blue. So let's go with the green. We'll do that. Okay. Eyebrow style. Yeah, that's fine. Facial hair. Oh, I gotta have my beard. There we go. Okay, my hair color. Okay, there. We'll call it that. Features, age. God, you can make this dude old. All right, we'll leave it like that. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll that's that's how we'll do it. So next, what's your name? I'll call him. Uh, yeah, we'll call him after myself. By the way, that's my name. Surprise! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. So enter. No, enter. Why is it not accepting? Uh, next? Next? There we go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Initiate skip jump. What do we got going on here? That scene, by the way, was pretty sick, dude. I'm liking ah, it so far. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bring yeah, just a bit. There, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Wow. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? <laughs> oh, yes. well, not to worry. I pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Very nice. This game is awesome! <laughs> I'm liking the story so far. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. All now, right, what do we got will... going on? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I Hell yeah. He's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you.
This is it. We're out of here. You've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. <laughs> Not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh, uh, it's already started off pretty Hawthorne good. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Man, dude, look Not at sure this. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. This is a spaceship. To go. Okay, so... This is pretty awesome. Alright. What's this? Looks like a fire. Okay, so left control is to duck. Awesome. So you can't run and slide? Sounds good. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Okay. So this is the basic tutorial. Nothing spectacular here. What happened to this dude? Looks like his legs got torn off. So, sneak. Oh, so this is one of those tall grass hiding things. Oh, dude, look at that. That looks insane. What is that? If they see me, I'm probably going to die. Mainly because I've got no weapons or armor or anything. So, can I run now or... So far, dude, this looks insane. What the hell just happened? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. Bound to be unforeseen side effects. What was that? <laughs> that was crazy, dude. Did I just step on something? Oh, I broke my leg or something, dude. Alright, so F is to heal. Okay, I'm probably... Okay. I was about to say, I'm probably going to forget that, but it looks like it says at the top right under my health bar. Ooh, who are hey, you? You, come what? here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. I think he's, uh... Do I have five medical? Does this mean I have five medical, or does this mean I need five medical? I think he might be a merchant, by the way. Let me try to patch him up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me nice. omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Don't worry, I got you, bro. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, what is, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Oh, of course. Some had great, great mix. Spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, but you're going to take yourself out, too. Uh, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go help. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. Hell yeah, all melee. All choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried <laughs> the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh my god. Nailed it that time. Uh, can, can you tell me where I am? Because I have no idea. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous Saltuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. That's right, because of the whole 
company rivalry situation that they got going on, right? Well, I'm off. All right, I got me a gun. Uh, do I have to shoot it? I think I gotta shoot it, guys. I hope I don't die. Damn it, my ears! Oh, oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Dude, I, I'm going... I'm going crazy. Tactical time dilation. Uh, due, the, due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain uh, processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. So this is like the VAT system tracking. Uh, you have a limited time in this mode using your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. So Q is the tactical time dilation tracking. It actually shows on the top left as well. So I should be able to. That's a Marauder. Oh man, I thought that was gonna. Ah! Oh! <laughs> very, very nice. Can I loot him? Oh yes, but there's somebody else. Oh, there's. He's right here. Is this the same pistol I have? I think I think it is. How do I go into my inventory system? Weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them in slots on the page. Okay, you can also inspect weapons. Okay, tracking. So, looks like... Can I just drop this? How do I... Okay, so I can... Oh, I can break it down? Let's break it down. Awesome. Okay, let's put that right there. That way we have our melee weapon too. Very nice. Oh, look at this guy just chilling. Can I snipe him? Oh, dude, there's somebody else coming. They don't look very difficult though. Let me snipe this dude right in the face. Guys, I know this is just the beginning of the game, but I gotta say, this is legit. What is this? A mining helmet. But do does that mean... So that's melee and stealth skills. Okay, cool. I'll take it, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Sentry saber. Is that the same thing I have already? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and break this down. So we can have more junk for crafting at a later time. This, uh... I wonder where I meet my first companions. God, look at how freaking awesome this looks. No, but I was saying, um... I know this is just the beginning, but the game is freaking awesome so far. Hey, this is a spaceship. Is this more Marauders? Oh, dude, that's a lieutenant. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, that guy was tough. I should probably heal first, huh? Now it's game time. Ah, uh, heal. Run away. Oh, crap. Run away. Oh, I can't even run anywhere. Ah, uh, die. Oh, dude, an assault rifle. Whoops, wrong button. Skills improvements. Every time you level up, okay. Congratulations, you leveled up. Uh, awesome. So, tab to view ledger. What do I want? I definitely want long guns. Um, so, I got 10 points available. Oh, crap, I'm doing... 
All right, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna put it all in long guns for now. Oh no, hey, uh, re okay, so X to revert all, because I don't want anything into melee. Let's go ahead and put it into range. We'll do we'll do that much, and then I'll put the rest into leadership. Only because I definitely want companions. I want them to basically do all the heavy lifting for me. Oh, perks. Toughness. <laughs> God, dude, my character looks ridiculous. <laughs> uh, tactical dilation lasts longer. Lone wolf. Nope. Definitely not. Strider. Cheetah. Sprint. That's actually not that bad. 25 durability. Wait, we have durability in this game? Okay. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is a very it's a it's a big maybe. Uh you have a base armor rating which adds to the K tracking. Vendors, that's if you want to buy and sell stuff. So carrying capacity is a pretty good one too. No, wait. Unlock the ability to fast travel. That's not bad, but I don't I don't I'm not gonna need it for a little bit of time. Oh dude, this is this is gonna be good for me. Your companions have a lot to teach you about killing since Yeah, I'm going with this. Since I'm going for a companion Like I'm gonna I want them to basically carry me. Wait, I also got a um no that's reputation, perks, skills. Where's my Oh, there it is. Let's put this to three and we'll put a pistol on number two for a backup. So are we gonna... Are we gonna commandeer this ship? So somebody right there. He's a... Marauder Goon, Marauder Vandal. Oh, there's somebody right here too. Can I sneak kill this dude? Let me see. No. Huh? Okay. Who shot me? Ah! Wasn't expecting that. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, dude. This game feels so... so so legit. Somebody's right there. But I'm going to see if these guys have ammo. Whoa. I'm assuming I can buy and sell stuff. I don't got no more ammo. I'm going to take this so I can break down later. But right now I need to be on my toes because it seems like there's a lot of bad people around here. Very nice. Welcome aboard the unreliable. That this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Drino. Hacking and picking locks. Okay. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Oh god. Okay, maybe I should listen. Yes. I'm not a marauder, by the way. Oh, it's you. Unauthorized access of space fair. Hello, Marauder. Hi. I am Ada. The autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please don't. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Oh my god. Procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five. Oh Four, no. Three, two, one. You, re you realize that we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. That was scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
If it was me, I would have been. I would have booked it. Uh, I need to get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Ah, <laughs> I see what she's doing. She's basically like trying to tell me, hey, by the way, you are Captain Hawthorne now. So I can listen to you. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hop. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and well do that. Then, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Oh, well, that's nice. Where am I supposed to find something like that? Wait, engineering. I doubt that I'll find the part like that just sitting in a garbage. Do I have... I'm assuming this right here, when it's in... Like the parentheses or whatever. That I am able to do it. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Um, absolutely. Yeah, ADA, I got it. Thanks, Ada. Ada, Ada, Ada. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so charming. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Oh, very nice. Okay. I got a stalker. Whoa, who the hell are you? I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Uh, <laughs> about now, that. Seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Uh, they fell and hit their heads. Uh, the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. <laughs> I'm so going with that. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Second time this month. Yes, <laughs> oh, that's so good. Company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. <laughs> he said it's the second time this month. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. I could use her gear. No sense in letting good armor go to waste. Yep. Uh, no can do, friend. That armor is Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Okay. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. God, these guys, these guys really love their company mottos, huh? Hang on, I want to ask you something. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. This game is freaking amazing, guys. All right. So, looks like our town leader. Okay. Damn, that's kind of far. It's 300 meters away. Oh, look. You can see it from here. Now, the question is, how do I get there? Looks like there's some sort of abandoned camp right here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Hopefully, they're friendlies. Hello, I come in pieces. It's a freaking marauder. Oh no, they saw me. Oh crap. There's a lot of them. So there's one over there. 
There's a lookout. There's a candid, whatever that is, and a vandal. You know what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I messed up. Where is he? There you are. Oh my god, dude. I didn't realize I had no ammo. Where is he? Where is he? Ah! Woo! Very nice. Oh god. I definitely wanted to switch to my melee, but uh... I may have pushed the wrong button. Let's explore this really quick. Ooh, heavy ammo. Does that mean that's... Yes, it is. A ring? I'm assuming all that kind of stuff isn't for cosmetic purposes. I think that's for selling. I could be wrong. If you guys know, definitely correct me in the comments. I'm brand new to this game just like most of you guys are, so... We can all learn together. Look at that. We're in Edgewater. This is the place from the trailers. Corporate Trooper. Okay. These guys might be friendlies. Oh, this is the dude that they were Whoa, talking about hey. by the cemetery. Where'd What's up? What's up, broski? Talk to Don't me. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Yeah, I've noticed. Uh, my pod crashed in the hills back there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Yeah, probably. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> God, they really try to sell st something to you at every point. Uh, let's see. Uh, I never got your. I got your. I never got your name. I'm Luis. Uh, well, I know his name is Silas, but I'm pretty sure this unlocks some dialogue. So. Let's see, do they pay you to chat with strangers? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Is that why you got a pair of guards? Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, you know what? Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, the Captain of the uh, Unreliable. Make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Let's see. Who did I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh... Depends on the work. Offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our <laughs> families become a mite delinquent in paying the dues, you see? It's like. <laughs> so you don't even own your own grave site, your own grave spot. You rent it. That is insane. All right, let's see, uh, to collect what's owed to you, I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why does every Bethesda Obsidian game have something to do with Abernathy? Like, this is like the third or fourth game in this series of games with the name Abernathy. Like, for example, Abernathy Farm from Fallout 4. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> I swear. Uh, why is Abernath uh, Abernathy a special case? And he's a special person, apparently. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Uh, where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Uh, was there some... There was something else I wanted to ask yeah. you. 
Do you lose a lot of people to Marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Just, okay, just so you guys know, I gotta say this. I, I Since this is a brand new series, a brand new IP and everything, I really do want to find out as much lore as I can. It's not like Fallout where I can pretty much just skip through most of the dialogue because I already know most of it. Uh, this is brand new, so I really want to find out what this game is about. So far, I'm liking it, by the way. Uh, right, because you think they're cannibals. Flesh gnawing, marrow sipping creatures of pure depravity they are. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Not only are they eating dead people, but they're eating dead people that were already buried in an underground. That's pretty, dis pretty freaking disturbing. Obviously, this town must be in pretty bad shape if you're if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. I respect people like that. They have it hard, and yet they don't complain. They just work harder. Uh, you're not worried about falling, uh... Falling sick. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. See? Straight positivity. I like this guy. How long have you been a janitor in humor, whatever? Hang on. I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. <laughs> uh, all my life. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Okay, well, thank you. It was nice uh, meeting you. Dude, this looks freaking amazing. So it looks like we're finally inside of Edgewater. Going on here. There goes the cantina. OSI or OC or something. Got some residents. All right, what's over here? Let's go straight to our objective. I want a companion already. I've already uh, invested a lot of. Oh, there's the Saltuna that they were talking about. Very nice. Oh, cool. Look at that. The elevator music. All right. The grease monkey. Are... Seems we've got a guest. Yes, you do. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, are you Reed? I was told uh, I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Oh, uh, I think you might have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically <laughs> not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. Uh, let's hear it then. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Wait a minute. Yeah, well, when you say mostly abandoned, what exactly do you mean by that? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing this, man. They're, those are people. We're about to take away their power. Uh, 
I don't think these people will take kindly to, uh... Oh, wait, so they're marauders? Yeah, I mean, if they're criminals... <laughs> no, let's see, uh... Yeah, let's go with that. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. I Man, I don't know how I feel about this. Let's see. If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. I mean, might as well make this into a business. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Actually, you know, originally I thought that this dude was trying to do something pretty cynical. It is reasonable, although I would think it's a little extreme cutting off their power. You're pretty much forcing them to come home at that point. I don't know. I don't think these guys are marauders, but I, I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Uh, I'll see what I can do to help. Oh, wait, how would I recognize a, her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay. These workers must have uh, left town for a reason. Yeah, that's that true. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. Okay. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. You know what? I think this dude is pretty reasonable. Alright, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Ooh. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay, sounds good. Let's get going. Companions, you've gained a companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures and can help in a variety of ways. Uh, companions provide combat support, clearly. Uh, their skills enhance your skills. Uh, they increase your carrying capacity. Oh, cool. You can mule them. Uh, you can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill, which I believe I specced into. And okay, cool. Let's go. Can I talk to her? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, got it. How do you say her name? Parvati? Parvati? Something like that? I don't know. Oh my god, hey, guys. Mister, can we talk? God, Sorry. that didn't take very long. Yeah, what's up? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, did you know Ad D? I I can't say that name. <laughs> Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. 
All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Wow, okay. Uh, I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Well, I mean, we don't really know that yet, so I'm not going to say that. Maybe just the boss, but... Well, how did you know the deserters? How well did you know the deserters? You worked with them? You were friends or what? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Okay. Uh, you can't leave it at that. Why, uh, why were Reed and, uh, I, whatever her name is, arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt. If you can get out to her. Yeah, I kind of want to meet this girl. I'm sure the deserters are very fine people. Mr. So what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. Man, me either. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, uh, I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Yeah, of course, absolutely. That's what my dad used to say anyways. I like this girl. This is, uh... This game is really making me make some hard choices already. So what's over there? Why do I have two markers? Let me see. Map. So, objective... Okay. Oh, look. There's a little tab for our companion. This companion ledger will... Everything you need to know about your companions. Tracking. Oh, this is her loadout. So she carries a pistol. Pistol and uh, impact hammer. I could actually probably take it away from her. I'm not sure if I want to just yet, though. And then this is my stuff. Tracking. Okay. But I think we're actually going to leave it here for now. Uh, we've actually done some pretty good stuff already. And this game's already tossing me into some very tough choices. I'm actually very interested uh, in the lore and everything this game's got to offer. So... If this is something you guys are enjoying, definitely do me a huge favor and smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.